What it do, YouTube? What it do? I see stupid young comment on China Max podcast about how Asians banged way harder than the Southsiders back in the days. That comment sparked like a wildfire. One thing I'm gonna tell everyone that gets offended by that comment from stupid young is to relax. The politics in Long Beach is way different than the politics in your city. So if you've never been there, then you will never understand. That's how he's supposed to feel. That's that manic experience from growing up there. It was racial all over there in Long Beach. If you ask the Crips in Long Beach, they're gonna say that all Mexicans in Long Beach is racist. If you ask the Longos and other Mexican gangs in Long Beach, they're gonna say that all blacks in Long Beach are racist against their race. So it just depends on who you ask. Both sides are not lying and they both experience some type of form of racism from the other hood while growing up in Long Beach. I see people from other cities getting butt hurt, but they don't know that Long Beach, everything is very racial. It just depends on who you ask. OG Boo Boo from Eastside Longos, who played a big piece during this war, is serving time today in Kern Valley State Prison. Judge hit him with an L. He got sentenced to 191 years. Did you guys just hear what I said? He got sentenced to 191 years. He will never see the free world ever again, not in this lifetime. Even he said that they were racial towards Asians during these earlier days, before they even started their gang. He said majority of Mexicans in Long Beach felt that it was unfair that the government looked out for the Asians and brought them over here during the late 70s and 80s because they had a war in their country so they was brought here as refugees and was given money and homes to live at in order to help them live here and survive. The Mexican community felt that it was unfair because where was their help at? They felt like there was no government assistance for them. They felt like United States was creating up laws to have them return back to Mexico. And even today, they are trying to build a wall against them. They said, where was our help at? So that was the beginning of the hatred towards the Asian community in Long Beach. They began bullying the Asian community due to that. I can't speak for everywhere else. I can only speak for Long Beach. Nobody on YouTube got more videos about Long Beach gangs more than me. So I feel like it's my duty to speak on this situation and bring things to light. So tune in because you're about to learn something new about this city that you never knew before. So during these earlier times before TRG, the Mexicans formed up a crew called, I can't say the word so I'll just leave the N in the front of the word out of it. So we'll just say it's called Ip Killers. So they had a Mexican crew in this earlier time that was called Ip Killers. They were riding their bike around Long Beach looking for Asians to terrorize. Now if you don't believe me, go ask Boo Boo from Eastside Long if that was true or not. He will tell you it's true because he was a part of that same crew before they all became Longos. The very first Asian gang to start up in Long Beach was not TRG. It was a gang most people never even heard of. It was called ESPC, Escape from Cambodian Camp. That was the Asian's first line of defense. They got tired of getting bullied and a gang was soon formed. That gang died off because those guys ended up forming another Asian gang. The TRG was finally created soon after. SOS was already there before TRG, but from my understanding, they was not Crips yet. That took place after a lot of their homies started getting locked up, and they had a close friendship with Insane Crips, which played a big factor in it as well. Tiny Rascals was new to the scene, and a lot of people haven't even heard of them yet in Long Beach until they got their first victim. Little Crow from Eastside Longos. He got clapped up in 1988. At that time, Eastside Longos had a hood meeting to see who done it. They were told it's a new Asian gang called Tiny Rascals. Longos never even heard of that gang, so they began targeting every Asian they seen in Long Beach as a get back. Soon after that, the Tiny Rascals began targeting every Mexicans in Long Beach, and things just turned into an all out war. Now what got the green light put on the Asians? That answer is different depending on which race you ask in Long Beach. If you ask the Asians, they'll say they put too much pressure on the Mexican community in Long Beach and during that time there was a powerful Mexican Mafia member locked up in prison who just so happened to be from Longo. Now as a Mexican Mafia member, their duty is to guide the whole Southsider as a whole. All that street politics is supposed to be beyond them because they now have a higher purpose. The Asian community said that this Mexican Mafia member was not only biased, but he used his power to manipulate his organization into fighting his personal street war. During those times, Eastside Longos was going to war with the Westside Longos. 
The Asians from those times said that the Mexican Mafia leader from Longos told the West Side Longos to team up with the East Side Longos and also the North Side Longos and be as one. And if they didn't follow that rule, that they would be green lighted too. But if you go ask the Longos how the green light got put on the Asians, they'll tell you different. With them, they said it all started with Time Magazine came to the set and wanted to do an article on their hood. See, back in those times, a lot of news media wanted to do interviews on gangs. Well, anyways, Longos turned them down and said they don't want to do an interview. So Time Magazine was so thirsty for an interview that they went driving around Long Beach looking for other gangs. They found Tiny Rascals gangs and they agreed to do the interview. In front of that magazine, you will see Asians with all type of straps saying how they'll clap up any Mexicans. They said they don't like any Mexicans and that they are Hispanic killers. When Time Magazine published that, that news traveled fast. According to Eastside Longos, that's what got the green light put on them. I don't know if you guys realize it or not, but you had a lot of different Mexican hoods that would pull up to Long Beach looking for Asians during those times, all because of that green light. I can go on and on about other stuff that took place right after this. If you guys want me to continue part two, then let me know down below in the comments. But until then, you guys let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe to my channel. Peace. I'm out.